loves welcome back here to another video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet an amazing 70s inspired shorts i have it right here as you guys can see you guys saw at the beginning of the video and today's video is a collaboration with the amazing alana she also creates crochet projects she's currently only on instagram but she will be moving soon here to youtube and doing some tutorials for you guys and we decided to create a 70s inspired set so the top and the shorts as you saw at the beginning of the video i've created the shorts and she created the top the amazing top and all her details will be in the description below for you guys to check her out also she's going to be doing a written pattern for you guys for that top and i know some of you love written patterns so i'm going to be linking everything in the description below so feel free to check it out so i really hope you guys enjoy today's video if you do make sure you give a massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe here to the channel so you can watch more videos like this one thank you guys so much and let's begin with today's video for today's video, I'm going to be using a 3.5 mm hook, a tapestry needle, a small pair of scissors, stitch markers, a measuring tape, and these are the yarns that I'm going to be using for today's project. I have four different colors. The brown here is going to be the main color of the shorts, and then these ones right here, the darker orange, the blue, and the lighter orange, will be the little details that I'm going to be creating around the shorts. These ones right here are all yarn weight number four, and they are all 100% cotton. They are very, very soft. These are probably one of my favorite yarns ever. Very soft and cotton as well. Amazing for summertime. And I'm going to be linking them in the description below if you guys want to check them out or even buy them. So before we start the shorts, we are going to be taking two measurements, the waist and the hips. So for my measurements, for the waist is 67 centimeters and for my hips is 99 centimeters. So you can go ahead and do those two measurements and note them down because we are going to be going back to those measurements. So now you can get the main color of the shorts. I'm going to be doing the brown. So we are going to be starting with the slip knot. So I'm going to be starting right now with my chain and I'm going to be doing a chain that is long enough to cover the centimeters of my waist. So I have here my chain completed as you can see and I've done a chain of 95 which it covers exactly to my measurement that I need and to make sure that you're doing exactly to fit the measurement that you need you're going to be placing the chain here beside the measuring tape and you want to kind of pull just a tad just a little bit just so you know that it's going to be covering all the centimeters because the chain when you create a chain the base chain it's a little bit stretchy as you can see so you just want to stretch a little bit while you kind of measuring the chain and as you can see my chain is 67 centimeters which is the centimeters that i need for my waist and another way that you guys can check if the chain fits your waist is basically going around the waist and see if they meet here going around and they meet here on both ends. So we are going to be working with half double crochets. You guys can work with single crochets and double crochets if you guys want as well. So I'm going to be chaining two right here and then into that third chain right here from this very first one right here, we are going to be creating our first half double crochet. So you're going to be yarning over you're gonna go through the stitch, you're gonna grab the yarn and bring it forward all the way up and now we are going to yarn over all of these three loops here together and then go into the next stitch and do the same and then into the next one and we are going to be creating here the half double crochets all the way down the chain and then I will show you guys once I'm right at the end. So now I'm getting here towards the end. So you're just going to be doing exactly the same. Creating here the half double crochets. And you also do want to make sure that you get the very last one right here as well. So now we have here our very first row completed as you can see so now we are going to go into the next row and i'm going to be showing you guys how to do without starting here with the chain and then turning so you're going to be turning right here without chaining 
and then right here into this very first stitch you're gonna go through the stitch you're going to grab the yarn and right here you're going to be creating a single crochet then you're going to chain one and then right here into the next stitch you're going to be starting with the half double crochets and also you want to make sure that you remember that this one right here is the very last stitch if you want you can place a stitch marker right here so now I'm just going to be continuing right here all the way down with my half double crochets so I'm right here at the end and you just want to make sure that you get all the stitches here from the base and you also want to make sure that you get this very last stitch right here which is basically the chain three so this double crochet is from that stitch and then the very last one it's basically this angled stitch right here so you want to make sure that you get that stitch and create your last half double crochet on top of that stitch so now we are going to be repeating again so we're going to be turning our project go through this very first stitch grab the yarn single crochet and chain one and then from here we are going to be starting our half double crochets and then going all the way down and making sure that you get the very last stitch as well so basically this part right here that we are doing it's the very first part the very beginning of the shorts right at the top and for the front of my shorts i'm going to be doing a laced up look which i usually go for for shorts because i think it looks really pretty so what i'm going to be doing now is creating rows from my waist going down for a couple of centimeters i would say 11 12 centimeters but i will come back to you guys and let you know exactly how many rows i did and also the centimeters so this is how it looks like once you complete the very first part of the shorts i have here 11 centimeters so as you can see right here we have 11 centimeters and for these 11 centimeters right here i have 13 rows going down so that's why I like to measure for you guys because then if you're using a thinner yarn then you probably will need more rows but then you know exactly the centimeters that you have to do and also if you're using a thicker yarn it's going to probably be less rows so you know exactly how many rows you have to do by knowing here the centimeters so what we are going to be doing now is joining these two parts here together we are going to be slip stitching this corner with this corner right here this is how i have my project at the moment so i have my working rows and yarn right here this is the top of the shorts i'm just going to be turning it like this and i'm going to be connecting with that stitch with the slip stitch so we can close here and make a circle so just make sure that you go here into the very first chain right here with the single crochet on top of that chain the chain one that we create here at the beginning of the row you're gonna go through and you're going to be creating a slip stitch just like this we are going to now chain one and we can fasten off or you guys will be creating the rows from here so i'll give you guys two options for this part right here so the first option that you guys have is to start already your rows from here you don't have to fasten off and then you're going to be repeating everything that i'm going to be showing you guys is starting from here what i'm going to be doing is fasten off and attaching my yarn into one of the sides of the shorts right here because then the joining of my rows will be on the sides of the shorts and not the front so now if you're doing exactly as i'm going to be doing i'm going to fasten off right here making sure that you leave a little tail right here so you can weave in into the project so now we are going to be choosing the next color because now we are going to be adding a few little colorful rows here in the middle of the shorts kind of like some stripes i'm going to be following this sequence right here so dark orange blue and light orange so once we have this one here completed we are going to be now attaching our next color so now we are going to be creating a slip knot and we are going to be attaching the yarn into one of the sides of the shorts right here on the bottom so i'm going to be choosing this side right here it can be any of the sides you're going to be choosing a stitch here from the side and we are going to be slip stitching the yarn right here so choose the stitch go through and just create a slip stitch just to connect to the yarn right here so for the front right here we are not going to be increasing any of the stitches we are going to be leaving as it is just adding the half double crochets on top of each of these half double crochets right here so i'm going to be starting right here with a chain of two 
and I'm also going to weave in this yarn right here at the end of the yarn already here with my project so now I'm just going to be creating here my half double crochets at the front as you can see we are going to be creating one half double crochet into every stitch here until we get right at the end and then right in the middle here there is a stitch as well so we're gonna get that stitch and create a half double crochet right in the middle we are also going to be weaving in this yarn right here and then from here we are just going to be continuing all the way until we get to the sides of the shorts so as you can see I just created here half double crochets on the front of the shorts and now we are going to be starting to add at the back right here the increases so the first one is going to be right here on the side so into the next stitch we are going to be adding an increase and the increase is basically just creating two half double crochets into that same stitch just like this and then now continue with the half double crochet onto the next increase so we have created an increase on the side already so we are going to be doing another one right here when we get at the end but now we have to kind of like choose where we want to place the other three that we are going to be doing so I'm going to be doing one right in the middle so I'm just gonna choose any of the stitches here and then one in between here these two other increases that we are going to be doing so one right in the middle and then the same on this side right here and every time we get into this stitch markers we are going to be adding an increase and then also remember to add one at the end right here so now I'm just going to be creating my half double crochets until the next stitch marker when you get into this stitch marker right here we are going to be removing the stitch marker and into that stitch we are going to be creating an increase so two half double crochets into that stitch and then now continue with the half double crochets all the way to the next stitch marker so I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these ones that I have to do and then I'll be back to show you guys the next step if you want now you guys can measure again or try it on to see if it goes through your hips if it does then you're done you don't have to add any more increases if it doesn't then you can go ahead and maybe add a few more increases here at the front or maybe also here at the back as well so I'm happy with this one so now for the next row it's exactly the same as the previous one we are going to be chaining two and then creating half double crochets all the way around now we have five increases so five double crochets extra so make sure that you do get those five double crochets as well so I got here into my first increase as you can see so I'm just going to be creating the half double crochets just on top of those two stitches right here and then from here I'm just going to be continuing all the way down until I get to the joining of my row once you've done that you can go ahead and slip stitch right into the other side with the slip stitch so I'm just gonna go ahead and create here my five rows and then I'll show you guys how I'm going to be changing into the blue yarn. So what I like to do is to place my hook right here into the loop and make as tight as possible. I'm going to be cutting here a little bit of the yarn. I'm gonna get my transitioning yarn. I'm going to be placing the blue yarn right very close into the hook as you can see and right here I'm going to be making a knot. So now with the orange yarn we are going to be creating a knot that it's also very close into that first knot right here. Once you have that done you can go ahead and just pull both yarns. So this one from the hook and then the blue yarn and they will basically join here and now you can go ahead and cut the ends off. So that's how I'm going to be joining my yarn but you can just choose however method you guys prefer. So now you guys can go ahead and finish it off this row and then I'll be back with you guys to show you what to do into the next row. So when you have finished here this row, we are going to be doing one more row with the blue, but this time we are going to be following exactly as we did here into the first row. We are going to be increasing a little bit more here on the hips because now 
that we've created a little bit more rows it's a little bit more tighter so we wanted to give a little bit more here for the hips so we are going to be creating the same increases right here and right here in the middle as we did here into the very first row so we are going to be just putting the stitch markers where we are going to be doing the increases so what I'm going to be doing now just going around and following my stitch markers and placing the increases right on top of the stitch markers and then I'll be back with you guys so I've just finished here my next row with the increase so what I'm going to be doing now is changing my yarn I'm going to be now using the light orange and I'm going to be doing the next row without increase so what I'm going to be doing now is continuing here the rows creating one normal row going all the way around as I did right here and then the next row with increase one normal, one with increase, and then until I have the centimeters for the hips right here. At the moment, it probably just added like one or two centimeters, so I still have to do a few more increases so it reaches exactly to my hip measurement. So as you can see, I have finished all of the rows that I was supposed to do until I got to my hips measurement. Right here, I have 99 centimeters going around and 49 centimeters half of the measurement right here. And from the stitch marker right here all the way to this last stitch, I have 12 rows. So right here was without increase, so I did one with, without, with, without, with, without, with, without, all the way down. For my body type, I had to do one row with increase and one without all the way down. But for example, if you reach your hip centimeters right here, what you're going to be doing is just from this row, you're just going to be continuing creating only the half double crochets all the way down without increases. What you guys will be doing is measuring from waist all the way to the beginning here of the crotch area and that's going to be 24 centimeters. I'm going to be showing you guys a little picture right here on how to take that measurement. So I went ahead and took that measurement and I've created this all the way down right here. And basically it was perfect here for my hips as well. So I'm happy with that. So now once you have this done right here, we are going to be doing now another increase here for the crotch area. And also from here to this very last row right here, I have 20 rows. So now for the next part, you guys will be folding the shorts on the opposite way. So we have the side here facing us. So you're going to be folding that and you're going to be finding the middle stitch. So you can go ahead and place the stitch marker right here. And we are going to be doing exactly here to the back one. So I'm going to choose this stitch right here. So I'm going to be now creating here my half double crochets all the way to the back stitch marker. And then when I'm here, I will show you guys the next increase that we are going to be doing. So once you get here into the back stitch marker, as you can see, I'm in the back of the shorts. I'm going to be removing this stitch marker right here. And into this stitch right here, we are going to be creating the increase. And the increase is basically three half double crochets into the same stitch. So before I show you guys what to do in the front stitch marker, I'm just going to show you guys how you're going to be doing right on top here of the shell. So I'm just going to be going up right here. And when you get here into the three half double crochets into this stitch, you're going to be creating one half double crochet into the first one. And then three half double crochets into the second one, so the middle one. And then one into the last one. And then you're going to continue the half double crochets. And then when you get on top of the shell again, you want to make sure that you cover all of the double crochets and into the middle one, you are going to be doing the three half double crochets right here. So I'm just going to undo this and I'm going to be going all the way to the front stitch marker and then I'll show you guys what we are going to be doing right at the front. The front stitch marker right here, we are going to be creating only two half double crochets into that same stitch. And I'll show you guys what to do when you get here into this increase right here. So you want to make sure that you cover both of those stitches. So the first one and then the increase you're going to be doing right here in the middle. 
you can see right in the middle of the stitch so right here you're going to be creating two half double crochets and then making sure that you get here the next one from this little shell and then you're going to be continuing right here with the half double crochets so this is going to be the increase here for the front of the shorts if you want you can place a stitch marker right here it's gonna help a lot for you to find the stitch that you have to create the increase so now I'm just going to be repeating the same row here for a couple of rows. I might do around 5 or 6 rows, it depends on how it kind of fits my body. But when I come back, when I have this finished, I'll come back and I'll let you know how many rows I did and also the centimeters. So as you guys can see right here, I finished those extra rows here that I'm doing for the bottom of the shorts. I have here 7 rows in total here with the increase in the middle of both the front and the back of the shorts this part right here guys is basically if you have a bigger butt and you need to cover any butt cheeks in which is my case so that's why i've created this one and it helps the shorts also to go in here a little bit kind of create a little curve that we need for the butt and also here for the front of the shorts so this one right here with increases I have a total of five and a half centimeters so now we are going to be doing here the crotch area creating the little chain right here to connect both sides and doing the leg right here so you can go ahead and fasten off this yarn because we are going to be moving it right in the middle right here so you can go ahead and create a slip knot so right here for the bottom of the shorts, we are going to be now creating a chain that connects both sides together and it gives more room here for basically the thighs and also the bum and things like that. So I'm going to be doing seven and a half centimeters right here for the bottom. So you can go ahead and create a chain of seven and a half or if you need even more, you can do that or less, you can also do that. I'm going to be doing seven and a half and seven and a half is a chain of 11 for my yarn right here. So right into that stitch where the stitch marker was, I'm at the back of the shorts. You're gonna go through that stitch and we are going to be creating a single crochet right here not a slip stitch a single crochet because then it holds better here at the base and now we are going to be creating here a chain of 11 you can do less or more if you guys prefer once you've done the chain that you need here for the bottom we are gonna go into the front stitch now you're gonna go through that stitch and you're also going to be creating a single crochet so right here we are going to be creating half double crochets just going all the way around here the leg hole so it's very simple we are gonna go up two chains right here so i'm just gonna go with half double crochets all the way around here my leg and then i'll meet you guys into the chain right here into that stitch so i can show you guys what i'm going to be doing right here so we are getting right here into the chain as you can see so i have my last stitch right here so now we are going to be creating a half double crochet right here into the single crochet. I'm going to be just doing here into this very first little loop right here, into the first chain and we are just going to go all the way through the chain right here, making sure that the chain is nice and straight and is not twisted. So there is one last one right here, this one is a little bit hard to get but just move it around and go through that and make a half double crochet so we are back here into the chain as you can see so we are gonna go right on top of the chain right here into that stitch and we are going to be slip stitching these two in place so as you can see this is how it looks like with the little chain right here and then for the other side we are going to be using the other side of the chain right here so what i'm going to be doing now is just creating here my half double crochets going around so i have just finished here my second row here around the right leg so i'm just going to show you guys very quickly how i'm going to be doing this other one right here because then i can do both and then when i'm back i'll show you guys how to finish the shorts off we are going to go through any of the stitches here create a slip knot right here chain two and right here you're going to be making sure that you get all of the stitches from the chain what i usually do is just follow here the previous double crochet and i create 
my half level crochet. When you get into the project right here, you're just going to be following the stitches that we already have in the base. There's one here. And then just continuing all the way around. So this is how we are going to be doing here the other leg. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do the same as I did on this side here to this side. And then I'm going to be continuing adding more rows right here for the length. So once I have both of the legs completed, I'll come back with you guys and we'll continue the shorts. So I have one of the legs already completed and this is what I'm going to be doing right here. So I have six rows in total here for the leg. So with the first one here that we've created with the chain and then all the way into this one here with the little peacots. So I've done here on this side the five rows that I have to do for the length and now I'm just going to show you guys how to do this one right here with the peacot in which is the last row here for my leg. So we are going to be chaining two right here and then we are going to be creating two half double crochets counting this one as one as well and then right here we are going to be creating our first peacot so you're going to be chaining two you're going to go into this back little stitch right here you're going to go through that stitch grab the yarn and you're going to go through this very first loop right here with the slip stitch so that's how i'm going to be doing the peacot right here so now I'm going to be creating three half double crochets and then another peacock right here. So chain two, go back into the very first chain and create a slip stitch with the first one. So now I'm just going to be continuing here with the pattern and then I'll meet you guys right at the end. So I'll show you guys the end of this row. And before we slip stitch right here, we are going to be creating our last peacot and now we are going to be slip stitching into the other side right here so now we can go ahead and chain one cut the yarn and fasten off so now we are going to be choosing one of the colors right here from the shorts to create a little finishing right here on the top so i'm going to be doing with a dark orange and we are going to be creating two of these little pockets right here that I have a tutorial for you guys on my previous video so I'm going to be linking that in the description below for you guys and we are going to be sewing them right into the top here of the shorts so what I suggest you guys is trying on the shorts and then you're going to be placing the pockets right where you want them and you're going to be pinning them in place you can use a stitch marker you can use a safe spin you can use anything just to make sure that you have them aligned perfectly where you want them to be so i've just here pinned my pockets with a tapestry needle as you can see so this is where i want to sew them in place but before i sew them i'm going to be creating the little detail that goes all the way around here the top of the shorts so i'm going to be starting right here on the side so i'm going to be attaching my yarn right here so I'm just going to be attaching right here with the slip stitch. You guys can attach into any stitch here from the top of the shorts. And then what we are going to be doing is creating a little different stitch right here. So I'm going to be using this first row here as a guide, but I'm going to be inserting right into the previous row right here. You will see what I'm going to be doing. So from here, we are going to go into the next a stitch from the previous row so right here there is a little stitch right here so you're gonna go through that stitch you're gonna grab the yarn from here at the back you're gonna pull up and then we are going to be slip stitching that in place kind of creating like a little single crochet right here you're going to be chaining two and then from this row you're going to be skipping one two into the third stitch right here we are going to be creating another of this little kind of like a single crochet but grabbing this stitch right here i'm not sure the name of this stitch if i find i'm going to be placing somewhere right here so chain two and then skip two from here at the bottom and then you create another stitch that i showed you guys exactly like that one and this is what i'm going to be doing here right at the top so i'm just going to show you guys 
what I'm going to be doing right here into the opening which is going to be exactly the same so when you guys get into here the corner we are going to be chaining two and into the same stitch right here we are going to be creating that stitch that I showed you guys and then we're going to be chaining two again and we are going to be creating one more right here going towards the side right here so from here we are just gonna be continuing all the way down here into the opening So when you get here into this opening right here, right in between, you can see of the opening right here, we are going to be chaining two, so I chained two already, and we are just going to be creating kind of like a few single crochets right here, so we can go into the other side. So I did here four single crochets, so we can go into the other side. When you get here into the other side, you guys are just going to be repeating the same steps, making sure that you guys match here to the other side. As you can see, you just want to make sure that you match all of these exactly the same. Just these ones, you don't have to match the ones here right at the top, just the ones here from right at the front. So this is how it should look like once you have both sides ready and now we are going to be doing exactly what we did here into this corner we are going to be repeating on this side as well and now from here guys we are just going to be following the same steps all the way around here and then i'll meet you guys right at the end here to show you guys how to slip stitch both together if you guys don't have here the three stitches to follow you're just going to be creating a chain of two and then right in the middle of these two here we are going to be creating that little hemming that I showed you guys and then you're going to chain two again and then you're going to be slip stitching right into the other side right here so this is how it looks like once you have all of the little finishing here on the top once you've done that you can go ahead and fasten off right here so now we are going to be sewing the pockets so now to sew here the pockets we will need the same yarn as the pocket, so the same color. I'm going to be threading right here my yarn. So I sewed here this pocket, as you can see. So I'm going to be doing exactly the same into this side. I'm just going to be starting into one of the top sides right here and then working all my way around. If you don't want the pocket to open at the top, then you can start anywhere and just go all the way around. I'm going to be turning here the pocket on the wrong side. I'm going to be inserting my needle through one of these little stitches. And right at the end right here, I'm going to be creating a knot. And then with this end right here, I'm just going to weave in right here at the back of the pocket. And this is also how I'm going to be weaving in all of the yarns around my project. So I just thread that yarn through my needle right here and then I go through a couple of stitches and then into this last one right here I go through that twice and then into the second one I just change here to my hook because the yarn is quite small and then on the second one I create a little loop I go through with the end through that loop and I basically fasten off again and then I cut my yarn right here. So with here this yarn we are going to be moving right into the corner of the pocket. And what we are going to be doing is getting one top stitch from the shorts and one stitch here from the pocket. So you can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to get one stitch from the shorts and one stitch from the pocket and sew that together so get one stitch from kind of like the bottom of the pocket so you're not gonna see then you're just gonna sew them together and that's how I'm going to be doing here all the way around my pocket
the bottom right here i like to do a little bit different so i'm gonna go through this stitch right here and grab a little stitch from the back like this as you can see and i'm going to come out from the other stitch and then sewing them together get here at the end you just want to make sure that you get right at the end of the pocket right here we are going to be moving the yarn here to the basically reverse of the pocket we are going to be turning the pocket here on the reverse where the yarn is and then right here we are going to weave in the yarn The last thing we have to do, the last two things we have to do is to weave in all of the yarns around here the project and create the little string here for the front. So I'm going to be using the brown right here because I have quite a lot going on already on the top right here with the pockets and the little details. So what I'm going to be doing guys is creating a chain that it's long enough to go all the way through here and make a little kind of like a little bow right at the top. So I'm going to be starting right here with a slip knot and then I'm going to be starting my chain. So I'm going to go ahead and create my chain right here. Once I have that completed, I'll come back and I'll show you guys how to put it right on the top right here. So I have done here a chain of 170. So I'm going to be just cutting it right here and I'm going to fasten off the chain. What I like to do here at the end is just create a little knot here right at the end of the, the chain, making sure that we get a little bit of the chain. And I did that one more time. And then I just cut the end of the, the chain right here. And then I'll do the same into the other side. So now we can just go through these little loops right here from the front in a zigzag motion. The last thing that I have to do is just to weave in all of the yarns all around here my project. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I have the shorts completed. As you guys can see, this is the front of the shorts. And this one right here is the back. Oh, it looks so pretty, guys. I love the shorts so, so much. I'm also going to be folding it right here so I can show you guys the little curve here for the shorts as you can see that's how it looks like and if it's amazing as well you guys will see at the beginning of the video look at this guys i love it so so much so yeah guys this is everything for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial right here it's super easy to make like when you see in person like this you think oh my god it probably took so long and it's so hard to make but it's not really hard to make this project right here and also if you make this project make sure to share with me on all of my social media i'm going to be linking them in the description below for you guys so if you enjoyed today's video make sure you give a massive thumbs up here in today's video and also don't forget to subscribe so you can watch more videos like this one thank you guys so so much for watching and see you on my next video bye bye guys